the owner and handler were Brittany and we were both members of Texas Task Force One. Certainly, New York is a strong city. Responding to the World Trade Center was our first deployment. We were there to try to find survivors, and when our task force arrived in Ground Zero, I just couldn't believe the magnitude of it. And then I looked down to her, and she seemed stoked and ready to work. Towards the end of our mission, it changed from a search mission to a recovery mission. I was just so grateful to have a canine partner that helped me get through it. She represents the working dogs and the disaster dogs in particular, and you know, they all are deserving for a day like today. Central Park and we are even more excited to have Brittany as our first pup of honor here. <laughs> Happy Happy birthday. Birthday. for you is our gourmet burger. Yes, you can try it. It's really good, huh? <laughs> Brittany, are you excited? You wonder where we're going? now, but yet when you are around water with her, she acts like a young puppy. I'm on the board of Friends of Hudson River Park. We want to present you and Brittany with the doggy equivalent of the key to the city. Oh. The bone to the dog. Park. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you, Brittany, from the dogs of Hudson River Park. Hooray! Oh, it's so beautiful. We do have one last surprise that we want to show you. Corliss, Texas Task Force One, says the National September 11 Memorial and Museum proudly dedicates this cobblestone located on the plaza of the 9-11 Memorial. When we deployed to some of the disasters, what I didn't anticipate is the role that they take on as a therapy dog. It provides an opportunity for people to have support from the dog and comfort from the dog in a real difficult environment.
Brittany and I have a really strong bond. You know, a lot of dog handlers say you get that one dog, and I've had several uh, canine partners, but Brittany is that one dog for me.